ever long for a buttery smooth background in your wildlife images, but all you have is a relatively cheap kit lens, yeah well no more. Here's a few tips and tricks you can apply to get your backgrounds a bit more smoother and professional looking. This video is not going to be about changing the aperture in your lens for the desired result as the whole point of this video is finding ways to get around the limited aperture setting in these relatively budget kit lenses. Okay, first of all, we have to start by opening up your lens to its widest aperture, the lowest F number. This simply gives us a good starting point for the rest of the tips to follow. This is one of the photography basics and it is one of the first things you learn. Opening up your aperture will decrease the depth of field, making it shallower, making your background a bit more blurry. Closing down your aperture to a bigger F number will uh, increase your depth of field and give making your background more clear. So we want to open up our lens to its widest aperture. The second tip, not only important for nice smooth backgrounds, but also for creating more flattering wildlife images, is go low and go eye level with your subject. This changes the perspective a bit and takes your background away from your subject, giving it more subject isolation, which is a good thing, and also it takes the background away, making your lens blurred it more. Essentially, the part of the background that is in focus is going to take up a smaller part of your frame um, and that gives it a bit more blurry look. This change in perspective is often what separates a total beginner from a more experienced photographer because the lower angle creates a far more flattering image. So even if the background blurriness is far from your goal, remember that changing that to a lower perspective will give you a more flattering image in most cases. Another tip is look for a clean background. This might sound stupid, but if you have the option to move your perspective towards the subject to maybe introduce a different background that is cleaner and will render smoother with your lens, do that. So remember to try to look at your background and try to figure out where you can position yourself to get a nice smoother background behind your subject. Another tip, get closer rather than cropping. This results in a shift in focus that is in favor of our goal of getting a smoother background. Due to physics, the closer you focus your lens, the more shallow the depth of field is going to be at the same aperture. And cropping essentially moves your focus away, moves your subject away from the camera resulting in a less blurry background. So we want to get as close as possible to our subject to avoid cropping. This tip is extremely important and this is zoom in a lot. Most of these zoom kit lenses are lenses known as variable aperture lenses. This means that as we change the focal length of these lenses, the zoom, there's actually also a change in aperture. So as we zoom in, the maximum aperture actually decreases a bit. And as we zoom out, the maximum aperture increases a bit. Now I told you to zoom your lens in all the way. Now that contradicts with the first point of actually opening up your lens to its widest aperture. But sometimes forgotten is focal length also plays a massive role in the depth of field of your image. And in these cases with all these kit lenses, the change in focal length actually has a far greater effect than the slight change in aperture. So therefore you should rather zoom in your lens all the way than to consider the slight change in aperture. So you will see in these example images, if you zoom in all the way, there's actually compression going along with it that sometimes make your image uh, more cleaner because less of the background is included in your image and also the depth of field gets shallower. The final tip, also quite obvious, but sometimes you don't consider that while in the field shooting, is try to actually get your subject away from your background. So if you can change your perspective a bit where the background is further away behind your subject, that will result in your lens blurring it more, giving you a more flattering image. This isn't always possible, but try to position yourself, or if you set up a blind, and 
try to position your shot where you have a background that is further away and that will help your lens out giving you a more flattering blurry background. That would be all for this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Have fun shooting and testing out these tips. See you in the next one.